हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर मीरा मिश्रा फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इंडिविजुअल एंड डिस्क्रिट सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू हाउ टू कंप्यूट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट डिसाइज परसेंटाइज एंड क्वार्टाइल्स फॉर कॉन्टीन्यूस सीरीज सो नो आई एम नो आई एम शोइंग द फॉर्मूला फॉर द कॉन्टीन्यूस सीरीज of quartile decize and percentiles so here uh, formula for continuous series formula for continuous series so for quartile for quartile taking the general formula qr is l1 plus here the size r n by 4 item minus cf f into i right so here first we take the size of n n by 4 items that are mine so here q r q r the rth quartile q r is the rth quartile quartiles where r value lies between dividing by because we will have the dividing values 1 2 3 and l1 l1 is the lower limit of the quartile class lower limit of quartile class l1 and uh, cf uh, what is the cf f uh, uh, cf cf is a cumulative frequency but here we have to take the cumulative frequency of before the quartile class just like a median you know the median uh, formula for the continuous series so i have take the, uh, uh, the formula for the qr dr and um, pr uh, for the continuous series just like a uh, median median formula but uh, in median I, i here i have take the n by 2 but for uh, bus changes only the this area in every in each formula uh, change only in this area you see Uh, cf is a cumulative frequency cumulative frequency of the before before the quartile class right and f is the uh, f is the frequency of the quartile class f is the frequency of the quartile class and what is i i is the gap between the gap between the uh, quartile class gap between the quartile uh, quartile class right quartile class or quartile limits uh, gap between the intervals of the quartile class right so this is the formula for the quartile similarly we write the formula for the dr same formula just only changes of here so formula for l1 plus r n by 10th item minus cf upon f into i and here r is take 1 2 9 so dr is your rth decize where r is 1 2 2 9 1 is lower limit of decize class cf is cumulative frequency of the before the decize class and f is frequency of the 
this side glass and I is the gap between see this gap between the limits of the decile class class interval decile class interval class interval you have to write in quartile class interval right similarly for formula for percentile for continuous series this one is l1 plus r n by 100 this is showing the size and cf upon f into i here r equal to 1 2 to 99 so here is pr showing the rth percentile where r lies between 1 2 to 99 where l1 show the lower limit of percentile class percent percentile class right and cf is cumulative frequency of the before the percentile class F is the frequency of the percentile class and I is the gap between the percentile class interval right let's let's take an example of continuous series Taking the class interval 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 and given the frequency is 3, 2, 5, 4, 2. Now find the CF. So first CF is 3, 5, 10, 14 and this is 16 so this value is comes also summation of is 16 right now now this is a example i have taken the example of the continuous series and now find the uh, uh, find the decile quartile and percentile uh, quartile is find the value of the q1 and q2 and in decile find d7 and in percentile find p95 value right so how now we know the formula uh, formula for the quartile decise and percentile for the continuous series so first uh, for finding these values first find the uh, uh, i'm going to for quartile uh, value of q1 and q2 first find the uh, size of the yeah, value of the uh, quartile qr so we know the uh, we know the formula of the quartile uh, so first find the size of the quartile so here find the value of the size size of the quartile so size size of quartile qr so we know the uh, i am using the form value here ar n by fourth item so here here r is because i am finding the q1 so taking the q1 using the another one finding the q1 so here r and what is the n n is your summation of f it means 16 by 4 and this one is gained fourth it means fourth item it means fourth item 4 is belongs to here so uh, i am uh, so 4 is belongs to in this cf5 so corresponding this uh, this class interval is known as a quartile class so we have the quartile class is 10 20 this is the quartile class what is 10 into 10 minus uh, 10 20 right now now using the formula uh, for uh, general formula for the this one so we know the formula of the qr uh, qr formula is l1 plus rn by 4 minus cf upon f into i so uh, now using the formula so making the uh, general formula is qr 
equals to L1 plus R n by 4 minus CF preceding uh, cumulative frequency upon F into I where R is uh, value of 1, 2, 3 because we have taken the dividing class in quartile R only 3. So we find the value of Q1 and Q2. So you find here the value of the Q1 taking the R equal to 1. So what is the L1? L1 is the uh, you know the L1 is the lower limit of the uh, quartile class. So this is the uh, this is the quartile class. This is the quartile class. This is the quartile class. So lower limit is 10. So you are taking the 10 plus R n by 4 value comes 4 because here R is 1 minus preceding of CF preceding value of uh, or you can say uh, the cumulative frequency of before the quartile class before the quartile class this is the quartile class so before the cumulative frequency is 3 so you have to take here 3 upon f f is your 2 into i i is the gap between the interval quartile class interval so this is the 10 now solving this so this comes this comes 15 so Q1 value is 15. This is the first quartile. Or you can say first quartile. Now find the Q2. For Q2, uh, now you find the value of, uh, here we find also the value of Q2. Uh, size of the Q2. So you see size of the Q2 is R n by 4. R n by 4. So here you, uh, you have to take in the 2 times. So 2 into 16 by 4 it means 8 so you see 8 is belong to there in 10 so in this case in quartile class in q2 case quartile class is 20 30 this one this is for q1 and this is for q2 right this is for q2 so value of uh, now taking the value taking the r equal to this is a general formula now taking r equal to 2 so we have now here is l1 is l1 is 20 plus r n by 4 values comes 8 minus preceding cf is 5 in this case upon upon f f is your 5 into gap between the interval is 10 now solve this one so this term is This value comes 26. So this is the Q2 value. Right friend? So here I have taken the quartile. This is the quartile class. This is the this is the L1 for the Q2. And this is known as the median also. You know the Q second is middle. Um, uh, Q2 is called the median or second quartile. This is your F and this 10, this is the 5 is the CF, uh, preceding CF of this case. And in this case, preceding CF is 3, right? And this is the quartile class. This is a, and here this is the L1 for the uh, Q1 quartile class. Now, now next move on, uh, find the value of D7. So D7 is a uh, decile. So we know the size of the decile size of the diesel finding the this is the quartile this is for quartile quartiles now come to the diesel class right so we know the formula of the diesel general formula for the diesel diesel is a dr l1 plus r n by 10 minus cf upon same formula but uh, only uh, changes of there to i or here r equal to 1 2 up to 9 because here is 9 dividing class so we find the value of d7 so here we find the value of d7 for d7 first find the size so we know the size size of d7 is 7 times n by 10 so here 7 into n values comes 16 by 10 so with uh, this value is come 7 into 1.6 7 into 1.6 so this value comes 11.2 so you see 11.2 is belong to where 11.2 is belongs to uh, in this 14 
this 11.2 is belong to 14 so so uh, corresponding this class corresponding this class i mean this one this class this class is known as the t size class it means d7 class now now find the value of d7 whole value of d this is the size of d7 now find the value of d7 we know the formula for this one now putting the value of, uh, here so d7 is equals to l1 l1 is your for d size class limit is lower limit is 30 so here using 30 plus this value comes 11.2 minus preceding cos is minus 10 upon f is 4 into i is 10 so you solve it 30 plus this is 1.2 upon 4 into 10 so this value comes 30 plus this is 0.3 into 10 so this value comes 30 plus 3 it becomes 33 so this value comes is 33 right so this value comes is 33 so this is the uh, this is the uh, d size value d7 value now find the value of p95 again now find the value of p p95 so we know the formula for the p95 for percentile percentile if you know the form general formula general formula is p7 p95 sorry pr pr equals to l1 plus this is the size where i equals to where where r equals to 1 2 2 99 because here we have taken the dividing classes up to 99 now find the p95 so first find the size of the first find the size of the p95 so here is 95 into n is your 16 upon 100 right so here you find 95 into 16 by 100 it means 95 into 0.16 and this value comes around 15.2 now now you find now you check this 15.2 in cf so you see 15.2 is belongs to here in 16 so this this class this class is called the p95 class so here lower limit is uh, so here is the class is uh, class interval is 40 minus 40 to 50 so lower uh, lower class is 40 in this case lower class is 40 or in this case 40 so now using the formula and find the value of p95 so here p95 equals to l1 is 40 and this value comes we know the 15.2 minus cf is proceeding this one is 14 upon f is 2 into i now you i is 10 now solve 40 plus this is 1.2 upon 2 into 10 this is 40 plus this is 0.6 into 10 and this comes 40 plus 6 this is 46 so this is the uh, uh, this is the answer uh, this is the answer of your um, given uh, uh, answer of the given percent, uh, percentile class p95 answer so uh, this is your uh, complete uh, solution of the uh, discrete series continuous series and uh, uh, discrete series continuous series and individual series uh, of the desired percentile and uh, desired percentile and quartiles right friend so thank you for joining my class